All righty. Hi, this is Jeannie, and I'm here with Mike today doing an interview on MLM. So, Mike, I have a question. Um, when you started out, what, what did you start out with? Oh, I tell you what, Jeannie, it was so many things because it was uh, it was all the emails. I didn't know. I barely knew how to turn on the computer. I, I oh. had no idea. But, you know, even then, you're seeing those commercials on TV about, uh, you know, oh, yeah, just sign up for this and $10,000 in a month and people are making money on the Internet. Uh, it wasn't Anthony Morrison, but he came along later. But when yeah. I started, it was like at a – that one guy had his infomercials about how you could put ads in the newspaper and make, you know, thousands and stuff like that. Always, there was always something going on. Yeah. And, so, and, and then I learned how to turn on the computer, and I was getting emails from different things telling me I could make 10000 a month. So I had to check that out because, you know, heck, yeah, heck, a month. heck I yeah. can make that money. And uh, it, it's – once you start getting involved in it and you start – seeing exactly what it's all about and it is it, 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 it takes advantage of so many people not only of their money but of the time they invest into looking at these things yeah you know and, and i tell everybody i don't care what it is find what you are passionate about and build your business around that okay so what was your passion what did you find that was your passion you know, I didn't start making money until I stopped trying to make money. Mm -hmm. and, and once I stopped searching and just started following what I what I like to do, what I you know what I thought I could help people with. Once you start figuring out how you can help people, money will follow. You know, if you can solve somebody's problem, you know, I don't care if it's losing weight. I don't care if it's how can I get more customers to my business. You know, mm -hmm. whatever it is, how can I get more traffic to my site? You know, how do I get my how do I get my phone to pull up my website? You know, if you can solve these problems, well, then money will follow. If you're helping somebody, you know, you'll you'll never have to worry about money. Okay. Well, and then my next question for you, Mike, is um, what was your biggest challenge in your first year? <sighs> Self confidence. Self-confidence? Yeah. Not knowing if if what I was doing was right, if I was getting anywhere. Uh, that, mm -hmm. that really was. That, and I think if you ask a lot of people, that's what the, they'll, they question themselves. You know, because they're not seeing results right away. Uh, they start. So then they think it's not working. You know, and, and what it is, and that's why the jumping around thing is so prevalent. <laughs> You know, mm -hmm. you'll see people jump from one program to the next one. Well, that other one didn't work, but this one will. And, you know, you hear all these, well, this is pre-launch and this and that. Well, that's because people, those people are preying on your insecurity. Okay. Uh, you, I, you're not going to see quick results with this. With any business you get into, it's like opening up. I don't, if you're opening up a restaurant in your hometown and you expect to see, to get rich in three months, it's not going to happen. It, yeah. It, it, so you have to apply <laughs> brick and mortar sense to, I mean, real life to online, whatever you're doing. You're mm -hmm. not going to see those results overnight. It takes work. I don't care what it is. Okay. Well, how did you handle the 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 fact that you were having problems with your self esteem? How did you handle that? I, I think once once I realized, okay, and here's an analogy. Uh, working out, you know, mm -hmm. I, I'd gotten a workout program and I wasn't, you know, I wasn't for sure if it worked. And sometimes I overthink things, you know, mm -hmm. so I'm cynical and I'm sarcastic. I think people are trying to rip me off. It comes from the bar business, but you know, so, <laughs> but once I just turned off my brain and started doing the workouts and doing it every day and started seeing the results, then I knew it worked. So mm -hmm. just, I just kept doing it every day. I got the results I wanted. And then I applied it. You know, I could see how I could apply it to the business end to where I know it works. I know what I'm doing works. And I know so I can. So just let it. it work. Yeah, because because I know it works. And so mm -hmm. once you realize you're going to stick with one, you find what you're passionate about. Once you realize that and, and you're not going to get sidetracked, there's no doubt in your mind you're staying with what you're doing. A sense of calm comes over you. You do. You will find that calmness. 
and at peace to where I don't care what Joe's doing. I don't care what this is. I don't care how many emails are telling me this. I know where I'm going. And I know what's taking me there. And you'll get that sense of peace. It comes to everybody, you know. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, do you truly believe that it is possible to create a passive income with an online business? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, and that goes back to because I see it. Because it happens for me, I know I know other people that I've worked with, either talked to, helped, and I see it every day. It it comes down to the, the only people that don't make it is the people that keep jumping and jumping and jumping, and they don't give it enough time. They don't give that first year a chance. It, oh, exactly, because they get overwhelmed with those emails. They they're chasing gold. They don't not want to lie. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, so here, here, that leads into my next question. If you had to start all over and you had nothing but your laptop and fifty dollars in your pocket, what would you do? I would, and, and we talked about this. Uh, I would, no matter what, you could drop me in a town in the middle of nowhere, and if I only had fifty dollars in a laptop, I would work offline businesses. And it's not okay. because, it, I mean, it's because I can help. I know I can help their business because. Once you establish it, once you learn what you learn, mm -hmm. they can't take that away from you. And what you learn, 90% of the people don't understand. You know, they think yeah. looking up the yellow pages and stuff like that, they're going to get business from it. Well, it don't work that way anymore. 20 years ago, it did. Yeah. I know Nowadays, some, you can access it on your phone and your laptop. <laughs> what I know is valuable information because I've taken the time to learn this. And same with you. You've taken, you've sat down and taken the time to learn this. And you can apply it anywhere in the world, and that's what makes you a valuable commodity. Once you understand you're a valuable commodity and you put in the work to become that, money mm -hmm. will follow. Yep. Okay, so what would your advice to newcomers be in this field be, Mike? You have to make a decision if you're serious or if this is just a hobby for you. Okay. If it's just a hobby, then if you're going to get paid like it's a hobby. If mm -hmm. you it like a business, you'll get paid like it's a business. Yep. So, so make rid... your choice and stick with it. Yeah, exactly. I mean, if you think it's, you know, you'd rather watch how Angry Birds of Atlanta or whatever it's called, and mm -hmm. play all those games and stuff like that. And the way I look at it, that TV doesn't make me any money. Facebook, playing Facebook games doesn't pay me. What no, pays me not. is to help other people. How can I help you? You know? Yeah. If I'm helping you, you're helping me. Everything works out. Yeah. And that's always a good feeling, huh, Mike? Well, sure. I mean, that's what, there's got to be a bigger sense of just yourself. How are yeah. you impacting, you know, the other people you. around you? I mean, when you're dead and gone, they're, they're, I hope they don't just say, well, yeah, Mike was a funny guy. I hope they say, you know, Mike made a difference and, you know, I was able to, you know, support my kids or I was able to grow my business or I, I was able to get in better shape and live 20 years longer or something. Yeah, something expounding. Yeah. Something that says, you know, he he helped people around him. He made the world a better place for being here. Yeah, and that, that's what it kind of, and, and I'll tell you what, and I just started watching this show last week, and it's called Touch with okay. Kiefer, Kiefer Sutherland. And they have mm -hmm. this quote in there, and it says, it's an ancient Chinese quote, and it says, that everybody on the planet is to is tethered together with a piece of string. Mm -hmm. that and he goes, that string will not break. It, it, it can, it'll stretch and it'll get twisted, but it will never break. We are all interconnected. So what you do can impact so many other people. Yeah, and it's people you don't thing. even know. Oh, it, it's amazing. Yeah. Well, you and I are... are perfect example the, oh, you know of that the other end of the country and yeah. people and all over the world australia and, and puerto rico and you know everywhere it's you can make a difference but you got to want to make a difference you can't all be about you yeah and when you get past so, that go ahead yeah you get past that and then you get that's when you start getting somewhere that's exactly right um, what would you say would be the best market for a beginner? You mean as far as the offline or uh, 
just uh, in general MLM business or? Uh, in general MLM, MLM business. Find what you're passionate about. Find the product, you know, uh, with me, uh, it's fitness. Uh, some people, it's, it, it could be anything. I mean, there, there's so many different, and there's a lot of good MLM businesses out there. Mm-hmm. You know, you do your research. That's what I would recommend. Do your, find what you're passionate about. Do your research. Find the best product and be a product of that product. Because okay. you will not find success unless you are part of doing that. You can't just sit there and say, you know, I, a, a good example, coffee. Mm-hmm. Big MLM business. I got a buddy of mine that's big into it. Got him a new car. You know, he's huge in it. Yeah. He drinks coffee. He, he loves his coffee. Oh, well, so do I. I know exactly what you're saying. And it's huge. I mean, he's, and he's doing good. But, mm-hmm. and me and him talk back and forth. I don't drink coffee. I've never drank a cup of coffee in my life. Wow. <laughs> so, you know, that's not, that's just not for me. It has to Obviously, be. Obviously, you're not going to go into that business because you don't like coffee. <laughs> because I couldn't give somebody an honest answer. I couldn't say, oh, this coffee's great or this coffee's good for you. Well, yeah. I don't know. I mean, the only reason I'd go into it is if you're going into any business because of the money, you're in it. You're in it for the wrong reason. Yeah, and chances are you're not going to make any money at it. Yeah, because then then you're a salesman. Yes. Then that's all you are. You're a salesman instead of you know sharing with people. You, you got to share whatever it is. You got to have that passion inside you. Yep. Where you want to help them, you know. Yep. Okay, so. Um, would you recommend that beginners find someone who has been in the field to help them with developing their new new business? Absolutely, and it's so hard. It's so hard to find somebody <laughs> that'll really take the time. And first of all, when you get into it, you don't know who who knows what. You have no idea. Yeah. You, in, until you you start feeling your way around. You know, I, I remember when I first got started. It was like. I was begging people, please answer me back. You know, I'd send them emails that I thought these guys, just because they was able to send an email, that they were geniuses. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. I was because they knew how to build a web. I had no idea. And, but none yeah. of them would answer me back. None of them would take the time to answer any question I had. And then the smarter, the more I learned myself, the more I learned how to build websites, the more I learned about all the, the more I learned about everything. Mm-hmm. Then... I just started realizing these guys were just copy and pasting messages that somebody had sent them. They were sending them to me. And, you know, I'd see these same guys two months later. They were promoting something else and they were doing this and they were jumping around. And, yeah. And I, and I said right then, man, I'm not like that. That's not me. If somebody's got a question, come see me. Okay. If I can help, great. If I can't, if I don't have the answer, you know, I'll find somebody that has the an answer. Yep. Yeah. Well, and and I can vouch for that because I actually started out the same way Mike did, feeling my way around, and I ended up feeling my way to Mike and Tony, who have both helped me very much in the past couple months and brought me to where I am, helping me find what I'm passionate about and what I want to do. And I'd like to thank you both. It's too bad Tony's not here with us, but I'd like to thank you both for the help that you've given me. Well, Jeannie, it comes down to uh, you You don't have to thank us. You're the one. See, you make that stuff available. And like we talked earlier, uh, you have to be the one to make the change. And then everything else opens up. You know, yep. you put the effort forth and doors will open. Oh, yeah. People. And I've seen so many doors open this past month that it's not even funny. Sure. You've walked through it with me. Because Because you've made that effort. Change yep. starts within. You can't change the things around you, but you can change the things within you, and that that that's where it is. And it impacts everything that comes into contact with you. Oh, it does. It does. Yes, it does. Yeah. What can you do? Well, well, Mike, thank you very much for being with us today. It's been a huge inspiration. Well, don't tell anyone. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'll, I'll keep it as quiet as possible. Right. Right, right. after I broadcast it on my website. <laughs> <laughs> well, I appreciate you having me on there, Jeannie, and I look forward to uh, we'll do a video down the road and uh, the, your progress and see how everything's coming along, and you'll have a great video update 
here a month from now. You'll be able to tell a whole new story and yep. go from there. All righty. Well, thank you very much, Mike. And you have a wonderful day. Okay, Jeannie. Thank you. All right.